That's why I'm here, to bring this book to you, Man in the Hat. It's a tribute, if you like, a permanent reminder, a record or a reference of how it all began one day when a man with a simple idea arrived in Hyderabad. All that has happened since that day can be traced back to that one man, Shweb Sultan Khan. A man in the hat as the mountain people of Gilgit and the northern areas of Pakistan called him. Shweb, or SSK as he is known, Shweb, as this book informs us, was a child of India. He was born and raised by his much loved <coughs> grandfather in the northern states. He was one of the elite and officer of the ICS who instilled in Shweb a code of conduct, an attitude to service that still exists in India today. <coughs> no, no borders, no boundaries. A man who cares, a man who should be judged, at least in part, on how it looks after. It's poor, it's frail, it's vulnerable, <coughs> and it's dispossessed. Well, five years ago in Lahore, when Sakhaj Aziz, a man who is now a top advisor to the Prime Minister, Nawaz Sharif, when I asked him why did he think that Shreb's ideas had not spread like wildfire throughout that country, I first thought when I heard about So Can they really do that? But Shreb just smiled as he so often does. He smiled and he said, Noel, you do not have to believe me. Just go and see for, you, for yourself. Because I tell you, Andra shines. The power of one that is the match that lights the fire of the power of many. And who fought for the unguided for the welfare of the poor to come out of the poverty. 
and uh, because of this guidance, three pilot projects have also been started in Andhra Pradesh, uh, in Kannur, Mahindra, and Anathapur, which led to be a role model in this uh, country today uh, in and of, uh, because of its uh, guidance and effects. And I appreciate the whole officers who stood with, uh, and uh, worked under the guidance of uh, Sir Sultan Khan. And also, I congratulate our Honorable Chief Minister because he is also doing a lot for the welfare of the women and the upliftment of the women. And I also congratulate for the respect uh, of uh, Mr. Swayab Sultan Khan uh, for writing his book about the SNG movement in the state of Andhra Pradesh and within the community, the will of the community, the will of the people that they should change, that they should help themselves. No one is going to come and help them except unless they help themselves. I think this is the principle which has literally changed this moment. And um, uh, initially, when you started off, there was a lot of theory into the subject. There was a lot of theory which was going in, which was not practical. And uh, continuous fine-tuning of this program as per the requirements of the community and as per the requirements of uh, the poor, I think that is the, uh, there lies the success of this program. And still, we are in the learning process of fine-tuning this, fine-tuning this program. Because even now, if you let it loose, uh, I don't think it will succeed. Even at this stage, after so many years of continuous monitoring, we had a very big uh, setback in, um, in the, um, uh, where they took finances from the uh, microfinance uh, companies. So, but we somehow could revive that and we could go ahead of the whole movement. I congratulate you for selecting this subject and coming out to the book. I, I am sure that it will be a guiding force for all our officers and others to start many such programs in the future. Thank you. Well, in uh, Northern New South Wales, we have a uh, plan. New South Wales in 1977, <laughs> 78. <laughs> then I was, living, I was living in Africa. <laughs> I, play, I was there for about 60 days yeah. playing cricket. <laughs> Yes, if I say I'm too tired and she says, no, you'll work today. <laughs> Thank you.